Hello, my name is Martin and today we want to talk about how CarMaker can support autonomous vehicle development, specifically about how your full autonomous software stack can be integrated and tested. Let's first take a look at how a typical autonomous vehicle works. Let's say we want to develop a robo-taxi, so we first need to define its operational design domain, or short, ODD. The ODD consists of the static environment, the roads and infrastructure we want to operate in, then the dynamic objects in the world, such as other vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists and the environmental conditions. The autonomous vehicle sensor set then detects the world around our car and feeds it into the software part. The vehicle needs to know where it is in the world and therefore localizes itself on an HD map with the given sensor data. It also tries to detect everything moving around and tries to predict how they will behave during the next seconds. Based on this information and our mission to get from A to B, the vehicle determines its next actions and the target trajectory for the next few seconds of the trip. Once the target trajectory is calculated, the motion controllers find a solution for safe, comfortable and efficient motion of the vehicle. When we want to test the AV software early in the development, we can leverage simulation. All we need to do is to replace everything around the system under test with models the environment, the sensors, the vehicle and the actuators. CarMaker brings all of that to the table, so we just need to focus on getting the sensor data into the system and the control values into the vehicle model. This usually depends on the system under test. Which and how many sensors are in use? What do the data formats and the protocols look like? What does the drivetrain, brake and steering systems look like? Once this is all set up, we can put our virtual vehicle prototype into full closed loop test in simulation. For this example, we have used the Apollo self-driving stack from Baidu, which offers the basic functionality to move a vehicle through an urban environment. It uses LiDAR for object detection, GPS and HD maps for localization, and two cameras for traffic light recognition. We worked on setting up the interfaces from the sensors to the perception, and localization modules and connected the output of the motion controller to our high fidelity vehicle dynamics model. Now we have prepared a few challenges in one scenario. Let's see how the system does. Here we are. On the left you see Apollo's internal representation of the world and what it wants to do next. The red line shows our planned route from A to B. In light blue you see the calculated target trajectory. Obstacles and their distance and speed are also visible. See the orange and green item on the right. And on the top right you see the motion information and, and the actuator control values. On the right you see the virtual world from CarMaker, where we generate the sensor data. You can see the LiDAR point cloud and one of the camera views from CarMaker. We are now running the demo. First we are stopping at the stop sign and then we perform the left turn. Then we are approaching a stationary obstacle, a small construction site, and the vehicle needs to find a way around it. It correctly calculates an alternative path by going to the right lane. Afterwards we want to do a left turn again and are approaching a junction with a traffic light. While we are approaching the light is correctly detected as green, but then it turns red and the vehicle decides to stop and to wait for the next green phase. When it sees green, it starts to move again. That was a closed loop test of the Apollo self-driving stack. As I said, the sensor setup and communication protocols depend on the use case. Our engineers have collected a lot of experience with different sensors and protocols, so we are ready to support you in connecting your software to CarMaker. Feel free to get in touch with us and let's discuss your use case.